Welcome back to Cataclysm. We're following the life of Jonathan, who has woken up after a cold night and needs to find some clothes to see that the area around him is full of vicious animals. You can see a very large spider, which hopefully is not tracking him. That could be the end of everything for him. So he carefully moves and makes sure to look at the spider every now and then to see where it's going. He loses track of it and keeps heading down. He can see a cat off in the field, but very little movement otherwise. He knows that there are a few more houses up ahead, so he decides to go check them out. Maybe find some useful items. He can spot another spider. It's off in the distance. No, he's closer to town, so he needs to circle down. So their town is infested with spiders now. He knows that if these catch him, they might kill him. He's not sure if they're poisonous. And little has changed in the town. Some long sleeved shirts. He picks up some bionics, even though he knows that he might not be able to use them. There are a lot of clothes in this locker here. But he's more interested in the lighter, which has a lot of lighting fluid in it, so picks that up. The sweater will help him during the night as well as a hoodie uh, but he cannot carry all that. He decides to continue into the town. He sees that the door is damaged and there is a zombie on the other side. He decides to wait for the zombie to break through but that is risky business because the zombie might bring friends. The sound might attract others and he's captured between two zombies. He makes a run for it but is bitten in the right arm. Takes a quick look at himself, but the wound does not seem to be very deep. He waits for the other zombie that he can see to arrive and hits it several times. But he hits it and it cannot. It will not die quickly. Make sure to butcher the corpse and check out what he can find. Some swimming goggles, some flip flops. Don't need those. So he heads back into the building. Just looking, he finds a fur hat. Decides to pick that up. He can still carry that. He sees zombies off in the distance, but decides to not approach them. Not a lot of more items that he will need before he can get through town. Picks up a cell phone which allows him to see the time. That should be useful for him. Some thread and some bandages might be useful as well. 
and it fills up the plastic canteen with some water and uh, makes a note to make sure to uh, make sure to boil that water has no idea what's in it finds a banana that he decides to eat because that might go bad quickly it's a turkey in this room and he decides to move in on it he realizes that he's been fighting with his bow so he decides to shoot at the turkey and he hears the glass breaking and can see a zombie arriving and he hits the zombie and has to drop the bow. He gets bitten in the torso, but nothing. Um, there is something trying to break through some thing here, but he decides to finish butchering the corpse. Zombie in the uh, window. is dead. He's carrying a little bit too much, can't quite fit things, so he decides to drop the CBM and make a note for himself where to find it. He practices some shooting on the turkey but he misses he's very bad at aiming with the bow but he gets some meat and some feathers also some bones and he decides to pick that up he can always cook the meat looks around the area and realizes that this room or this house is now looted. So he scratches a mark on the wall. There are a lot of zombies. You can also spot a zombie dog searching through one of the buildings further off. The building seems to be a grocery store. He knows that there are items there that he might need, but the dog is too dangerous for him. And he is yet again carrying too many items. So he decides to drop the... He takes a look at the cotton hat, but... He thinks that maybe the fur hat might be better for him. So he drops the cotton hat so that he has space to work. Still does not have enough space. So he drops the shirt and Wheels the crowbar. You can see a house that he has not yet entered. Several, actually. He realized that as this gl glass broke. He would need to find some place to protect himself because it would 
definitely attract more zombies. Even though he can see more zombies off in the distance, he knows that he needs to take care of everything here first. And they burst through the window, running at him. He runs back to the other window, tries to lead the zombie through it. That zombie carried a nail gun, but he already has one, so he does not decide to use it. You could hear a whump, whump on the door. Another zombie comes bursting through the window. But he knows what he's doing and being very, very careful. But here's something break. There is a zombie. And he runs out through the window and closes it. Just to make sure that the zombie is... And he... managed to cut himself slightly on the... window frame. But it's not bad, he's not bleeding. You can see a lot of zombies in the area. But he needs to make sure that there are no useful items for him in this building. And you can see a lot of aspirin things that he might need. Bandages as well, and he made a jackpot with some first aid kits. The first aid kits might be the difference between life and death. Some bread is also useful. Is this a zombie? Looks like... Kind of a dangerous one. He decides to try and lure it. But the area is splattered. With acid all around him. So he tries to get away from it, but it's too fast. And he's hurt, but not badly. He needs something to carry all his items, and he can spot on the other side of the road a shopping cart. And he knows that that will be very useful for him to transport stuff, but there is a zombie brute standing on the other side. And he decides to go back into the building and wait and see. Did the brute see him? Is it hunting for him now? The other zombie can see him and he sees that it's crashed through the fence and it's bitten the left leg but the wound is not very deep he finds a hand present eye set which is something that he can use at some point when crafting but he cannot carry it 
he makes a mental note for it. He badly needs that shopping cart, but he knows that he cannot get there without attracting that brute, and that one would definitely slay him if it gets too close. He steps back in to consider his next move, which will be in the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.